Hello everyone, I'm Melinda. And I'm Melissa. Welcome to our channel, Mid-Lifestyle Twins, where we, as twins, use our unique personalities, likes, and interests to educate, entertain, and encourage others who, like us, are managing their bodies, minds, and environments in these, the midlife years. To our faithful subscribers, we want to say thank you for your support. And if you're new to this channel, welcome. We are really glad that you're here. We want to invite you to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you're made aware when new content is available. We also appreciate feedback, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and leave any comments, questions, or suggestions that you have down in that comment section below. This spring, Melinda and I took a motorcycle ride, and we are going to share that with you. And because we want to give you the full experience no time lapse, no speeding up on this road trip. We are going to break that up into four videos. In the first video, we're going to take you on a ride through beautiful Somerville, South Carolina. It will be about a 10 to 15 minute ride, and I will be sharing with you some history and information about Somerville. Video number two will pick up where video number one left off on beautiful Highway 61. We will drive past three beautiful plantations under a canopy of live oaks, as well as over this bridge to John's Island. And to see some of that beautiful waterway and end up at the Angel Oak. In the third video, we will be picking up from Angel Oak and head to the Charleston Tea Plantation. And finally, in the fourth video, we take you on a longer ride and that will start at the tea plantation and end up in downtown Charleston. How about we get this show on the road? Literally. Yes, starting with getting the gear on. Do you have your jacket? I have a jacket for you. That's okay, we're good. Ready? As we head over to pick up our main route through Somerville, let me just tell you a little bit about beautiful Somerville, South Carolina. Somerville is part of the Charleston, North Charleston metropolitan area and is situated in both Dorchester and Berkeley counties. It is about 26 miles up I-26 from Charleston and about 84 miles down I-26 from Columbia. If you are a beach lover, the distance to Folly Beach and Isle of Palms Beach is about 35 miles. Edisto Beach is about 50 miles and Kiowa is about 43. The main access to downtown Somerville off of I-26 is at exit 199 and you're gonna be exiting onto Highway 17A or Main Street. This will be our route today. Somerville is also known as Flower Town, or more specifically, Flower Town in the Pines. It was incorporated in 1847 and was primarily known as a tourist or resort bedroom community. It was considered a refuge for plantation owners. Prior to 1831, Somerville had a few year-round residents, but the population swelled in the summers as low country planters sought the breezes and pine forests 
that were deemed healthier than their swampland rice plantations. In 1831, the railway from Charleston to Hamburg was constructed with Somerville being the first stop. Town lots were laid out in a grid pattern near the tracks and was called New Somerville to distinguish it from the rambling arrangement of the old village. Now I wonder if the railroad was the inspiration for the names of many of the streets in Somerville. Before moving up the road a short ways to Ridgeville in 2019, we lived on West 5th North Street, and I always wondered how it got such a name. 5th Street, north of the train tracks, and west of Main Street. That makes sense to me. Cannot forget to mention beautiful Azalea Park, the place of the renowned Azalea Festival held every spring and attracts over 200,000 people. To handle all the vendors and visitors, this main street is closed off and it is a great event. Weather in this area is great except for the two to three hot, humid summer months. Now, out of the 396 cities in South Carolina, Somerville is the seventh most populated city. Population of Somerville is currently estimated at 53 to 54,000 based on projections from the 2019 census. Now, to get a perspective of the growth, in 2010, a year after we moved to South Carolina, the Somerville population was around 43,000. Yes, the growth is evident. Now this growth is due largely to companies such as Boeing, Volvo, Amazon, and many other companies or supporting companies choosing the low country to set up business. Speaking of jobs, the area has many technology related jobs and attracts those wanting contract or department of defense jobs. Somerville has many beautiful historical homes. Someday, we will take a ride down through the side streets of Somerville and show you some of those beautiful historic homes. Somerville is the birthplace of sweet tea, really sweet tea. If you have any other questions about Somerville or would like to see more footage of Somerville, please leave that down in the comment section below. Now sit back and enjoy the rest of the ride.
That didn't take very long. Nope. I had a half a tank, but I don't go very far. If I have a gas station, I stop and fill it up. Do you want anything to drink? Um, don't you have any cup holders on this thing? We should have one right here. They, go up your they do. <laughs> they do make armrests, and they make them with a cup holder. Well, why don't you have one on here? You want me to continue to bike right? You better get one. You're crazy. I'm thirsty. Mm -hmm. All right, so we do have one cup holder. Right here. So the driver's the only important one here, huh? My bike, my cup holder. <laughs> 